Hey, what's up guys? And you're watching Computer Hero 101 once again. And today in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a Raspberry Pi and share its folder using Samba. Now, if you have been following my channel, you guys have learned how to install torrent clients and uh, I have installed a couple of torrent clients that is transmission deluge and all that kind of stuff but they all sort of give some kind of errors so I'm just uh, rebooting again so just to check how to get things fixed and after that I'll be making a video which will be uh, basically a review of all the torrent clients that I'll be using so you can choose the best one and you do not have to go through all the hassles that I have to um, so today in this video I'll be teaching you how to install Samba which is uh, basically a SMB protocol of sharing uh, folder sharing uh, folder sharing application SMB is a protocol that Windows uses for sharing its folder uh, and uh, two things that I'll be doing is that first of all I'll teach you how to install the program and on the next part of this video I'm not going to cover the entire thing in this uh, only one video because I think the second half which I'll be making a part two is pretty important to be an independent video because there are a lot of other tutorials out there who teaches you how to do this kind of stuff in a very easy way and you just kind of follow them blindly without understanding what you're doing but I want you to understand each and every step that you'll be doing so you can understand so you can be the in charge of the things if anything gets wrong so you can understand what you have done and what you can expect without relying on anybody because it's very very frustrating to do something and things aren't working the way you wanted that but you don't understand anything so I want you to understand each and every step that you do so first thing that I want you to do is um, go to any SSH client that is PuTTY in uh, Windows 192.168.0.102 okay login as root user uh, in my case that should be it okay done the first thing that you need to, need to do is um, as I am lo logged in as a root user I do not uh, I do not need to provide the uh, command sudo uh, so if you're not logged in as a root user you do need to provide the command sudo so let's go ahead and provide apt get install Samba and after you do that press enter I have already done it I don't want to do it because that, that will s basically screw up the entire system so my thing is done after the thing is installed go ahead and download apt get install Samba common bin yes I said common I said common instead of common I don't know why so go ahead and uh, hit enter and it will start it will be installed too and after that uh, there is one thing that you need to do is um, that is uh, sudo again sudo is needed if you're not logged in as a root user which in my case I don't need smb p a s s w d a pi now you must be wondering what the hell is this okay let me tell you SMB password is SMB is the protocol using which we, we will be uh, sharing our folder and password is basically telling the telling the SMB protocol to add a user okay and the user will be pi and SMB password will be setting a password for this user pi that you're adding this can be anything this can be my name Shubra this can be this can be motor bike this can be this can be cow oh sorry <laughs> sorry I don't want to do that uh -huh. a cow goat whatever it is just do SMB pass SMB P A W S W D A and then the username then it will uh, then uh, it will ask for a password for the SMB Samba just provide that and then it will add a user in the for accessing the Samba protocol which will basically do is that when you're accessing that shared folder it will ask for a username and a password for authentication purposes if you if you fail to provide that 
it will automatically log in the user as a guest user and if you don't want the guest user to uh, read and to write anything on the folder you can do that in the configuration file again I'll be doing that in the next video well I'll, I'll show you how to edit the configuration file of Samba and uh, using that you can pretty uh, pretty easily what the fuck is going on in my <laughs> with me you can pretty easily edit everything that you want to do so this is the end of the first part of the video I'll see you on the next part